ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you to Peyton Johnson, who is a phenomenal fifth grader at Grandview Hills Elementary School. What are you reading, Peyton? You told me, we talked a lot about Wrinkle in Time the last time we sat down. Um, you mentioned about how you love to read. Are you reading anything good right now? Right now I'm reading the Babysitter's Club series. So what, for those who aren't familiar with the Babysitter's Club, what, what are those books and why, why are those of the many options you might have? Why are you drawn to those books? To those books, it's like I can connect to the books. So the books that I can connect to the most are the books that I have interest in, because I understand the books more than books that I don't really understand or know what happen has to happen in the books. What's the Babysitters Club book that you're reading right now? There's a girl that's moving, and they think that the Babysitter's Club is going to have to end, but it really won't have to at the end, because they find a way for them, for the girl to stay at the school, and for all of them to stay friends. Peyton, the other thing that we talked about was mindfulness, and Grandview Hills has some special spaces, and a teacher who um, has led you all in some lessons about mindfulness. Can you start off by just, for those who aren't familiar with the concept, what is mindfulness? Mindfulness is staying in the present moment, not focusing about anything, like not being stressed out or not worrying about what you're going to have for lunch or what you're going to do for the rest of the day. You're just focusing on the present moment and staying calm. Have you been staying up on your mindfulness in these last couple weeks? I have. Mindfulness really helps out when I'm either stressed out, sad, or a little mad sometimes. What are some things you're doing? What are some things that you learned? Um, share, with the, share with the audience um, about, you have a teacher at Grandview Hills. Um, who is that teacher and what are some of the things she's taught you specifically that have helped you um, while we're doing this remote learning? Um, our teacher is Miss Lacey, and things that she's taught me is brain training, which you're taking deep breaths, and our finger method, which is mindfulness begins with me, and all of those techniques really help out because they're usually fast techniques, and they calm you down, but it feels like you're just in a safe space and nothing really happening around you. Peyton, I wanted to ask you, uh, you, you know, what's been the biggest change for you as we've gone into this remote learning? What's, what's the one thing that you are, are experiencing that is very different from the way things work? My biggest change is not being able to have that environment to where I have the mindfulness courtyard and the mindfulness library so I can actually practice. And I don't really get to keep up with my mindfulness as much and it's just not the same. Do you miss your friends and your teachers? I do a lot. How are you coping with that? It's okay, because I get to do Zoom calls with my teachers and Zoom calls with my friends as well. Tell us a little bit about the remote learning itself. Um, do you feel like we're providing good opportunities for you? I do. We have a lot of options and ways that are easy for us to learn and for us to be able to focus with our different options and knowing that if we are having a tough time with something, we can just move to the next thing. Do you feel like you're getting the support that you need at this time? Of course. Peyton, if you had one bit of advice that you could give to someone who's not familiar with mindfulness as a way to kind of get started, what would be, what would be that piece of advice? I'd say start early so you can have more time to learn about it and don't rush doing mindfulness because it takes time. This is very different for all of us. Um, so what's been the, mo the coolest thing that's happened um, for you during this time as we're learning from home? Um, I like the t times where I get to talk to my teacher and it's just me and my teacher. So I get to go at my own pace in the time that I have with my teachers. So I can tell that Peyton is really a leader on her campus, not only 
um, being brave enough to come onto Facebook Live with us, but also the work that she does with other kids. And I wonder what it is um, that has happened that has helped her become such a fantastic leader. My school leaders, like my principals and my mindfulness teacher and my assistant principal and every teacher there have really helped me be independent and be a teacher and a leader myself. So I know how to be appropriate with the other people and be respectful with everybody at my school. All right, everyone from your homes, from your computers, give Peyton a round of applause. Thank you for joining us and thank Ooh. your mom for helping us connect with you, Peyton. Harriet wants you to know, Dr. Gehring, she's coming for your job. Peyton is coming for your job. Um, so you better watch out. She probably would have won the second step Kahoot if she were in it. Absolutely.